so welcome back and what we are doing here we are we are going through this test execution process all right so in, in the last video we completed how to validate test environment in this video our focus would be to validate test all right so test validation is the focus of this lecture i'm going to do the best practices i'm going to do the common mistakes that people do whenever they want to validate test okay so what are the what are the key checkpoints that you should focus your attentions are this is a test validation which ensure that the workload specification whatever we what we discuss in 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 the, in, in the design phase are met okay so that is essentially the workload specs are met that mean if we are doing a you know activity number 1 50% is time and activity number 2 15% of time and activity of 3 35% of time ensure that whenever we run the test this mix is matched okay so this transaction make transaction mix and the throughput and all those things match according to the workload spec that we have defined in the test design phase all right and another important point that a lot of people make mistakes are test data so test data validation okay so the key problem here is that like the key problem is that like you know whenever people run their test environment they do not populate their database with enough volume of data all right so for example if you are if you are so for example in our case in our project what we did we have pre populated our module software system with 50 courses to start with 50 courses and then 1000 student to start with okay so this is what is called pre population right and a lot of times people do not you know they do a software they do a performance testing with maybe just only one course and then 10 students so in that case what is going to happen is that we are always going to hit the the first course so if you hit always the first course so guess what's going to happen and using the same data can cause artificial use of caching as data will be picked up from the memory okay so therefore you have to really ensure that you create enough is enough enough data so that we can test it properly and another thing is that whenever you access the course ensure that you are parameterized those things with some random variable so that means whenever the first request goes it will it will it will select a course any number between 1 to 50 all right and so that means you know we need to have randomization and then another thing that you should do like let's say you have say 50 courses so create a script or create a test loop through all those 50 courses you know if it is it, if it is successfully loop through then that means the data is correct okay so you can do a just correctness test by passing through all records in a loop and another important thing is that you ensure that you parameterize the test so ensure that test are sorry test test scripts okay so test program are parameterized that means if you take that script and run it in another machine so therefore those things will also run so that means the test should not depend on a machine or on a particular environment okay and the final thing is correctness check okay so correctness check is that like in a check if you are getting the expected content in a page say an another correctness check is let's say i know my workload is going to insert let's say 50 quiz result to the database table so what i'm going to do after the test is over i'm going to go and query the database table to see if i have 50 new records are available or not okay so this is another way i can check if my load testing tool is simulating whatever it's supposed to do those kind of additional correctness check that you can do by putting this kind of tricks all right you know these are the these are the couple of points that uh, you probably you need to you need to you need to keep into consideration when you are validating the test all right so so thank you so much and in the next video we are going to discuss about 
how to execute the test.